Hey everyone, it's me, Rachu, back with another video. As you can see, I have tons of washi tape. I had a bit of an obsession at one point. <laughs> so I thought I could put a few of them to good use by making illustrations inspired by them. I laid out all my tubes on my desk and picked three tapes that inspired me the most. First up, I picked this white and blue flower tape. It's so pretty and I was really looking forward to making some art with it. Next up, I found this super cool forest tape. I figured I could make a fun country girl character based off of this one. And last, I went a very different route by using a tape with some calligraphy. This was the wild card of the bunch for sure, but it had a really cool vibe to it, so I added it to my little collection of inspiration. And here are the washi tapes. Let's get to drawing, shall we? Starting things off with that gorgeous flower tape. The pattern made me think of someone innocent and sweet, so I sketched a younger character sitting in a bed of blue flowers. This one pushed my brain cells pretty hard. <laughs> it was a weird pose to wrap my head around, but I think I pulled it off. At the last second, I changed out of the pose on her right arm. I originally wanted her to be reaching for a flower, but no matter what I did to her arm, it looked really weird. But I changed it up so that she was holding a flower and smelling it. I like this a lot better. <laughs> I think it helps with the flow of the character too. The colors were really fun to work with since it was such a limited color palette. I made sure to use a lot of pastel blues that matched the blue flowers on the tape. I thought a sweet creamy dress would fit the innocence of the little girl too. Now for the forest tape. Like I said earlier, I got the vibe of a country girl from this pattern. This just looks like a wallpaper from an old cabin in the woods to me. So I pretty much redrew it and used it as a backdrop for the character. For the girl herself, I was going for a Joanna Gaines type. Y'all ever seen the show Fixer Upper on HGTV? Joanna has a very country girl vibe to her, but also someone with a great sense of style. So I gave her a cute choker and some nice earrings to add a bit of panache. almost done with this drawing did I realize her face is way too wide <laughs> I don't know how I didn't pick up on that it bugs me so much now but otherwise I think she turned out pretty cute what do you guys think Oh boy, now onto the wild card of this video. I had an absolute blast with this one. I wanted to go for a more lineless look for some of it, so I only drew the line art for the trees and the character in the foreground. Oh, and I added a little character. <laughs> I thought it would be fitting to have a little traveler looking into the expanse, along with the calligraphy tucked into the mountains. I also added a lot of fog. <laughs> There's this brush in Procreate called Water Brush, and I am so addicted to it. It's such a wonderful way to add so much texture, and it was so, so perfect for the foggy bits. So I drew the character holding a lantern, mostly because I didn't know what else to put in the hand, but it inspired me to flip this illustration to be in the middle of the night. And so I did just that. And you know, I got to add more foggy bits, so that's always a plus. It also allowed me to really make the lighting pop. I put a moon glow on the mountains and trees, and a warmer lantern glow on the character in the rock. 
This took me an eternity to get just right, but I really love how it adds to the effect of the illustration. And that pretty much wraps things up for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and comment which washi inspired drawing you like the best. Check out my Redbubble shop while you're at it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!